Hi, I'm gonna show how I start my cold 2003 Neon. It's November, November 10th today, so this is the real cold engine. It's 12 degrees Celsius, it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. My settings are set to, I wanna say, 5 milliseconds based cranking time. That's gonna be multiplied by the low coolant temperature that's going to be multiplied in the beginning of cranking. My ignition is set to 10 or 12 degree advance both during cranking and running and then my base fuel, my I have a flat fuel map at 12 milliseconds during running. You can see 13 that's because of the extra millisecond for injector lag. Um, so that's Let's see how that goes, I guess. Okay. So that's full throttle. You can see how the engine is struggling. It did catch up in the beginning. That was the first cranking of the day. So apparently I think it was not enough fuel. The temperature has bumped just a tiny bit. Let's do it one more time. So as you can see it's still struggling. It's like 35% throttle and then it's kind of getting warm and it's getting much better with lower, R with lower throttle and now it kind of does run. So that's plenty of fuel. That's a lot of fuel. Um, it's not much throttle as you can see. The temperature is uh, hopefully going to slowly increase. So we are already at, we're getting closer to 14 degrees Celsius. So yeah, that's how the engine is slowly warming up. The throttle is pretty low at this point. We are still at um, 12 degree ignition, 12 degree advance. That's pretty much constant right now. I'm pretty excited because it did start up pretty relatively easy on a cold engine so the temperature is going up it's now 20 degrees Celsius um, let's I don't know let's close those uh, gauges you can see I barely touch the throttle there is some idle solenoid I think it's a 20 percent power wave modulation it's kind of open a little bit I'm not sure. I'd rather not drop. Ah, let me try. Yeah, I, I, as you see, I've released the throttle and I didn't like it, so I'll keep touching it just a little bit. So I'll close it. Fuel is constant. No, not much point in this gauge at this point. Uh, here we can see that this is sequential ignition. Um, that the trigger, trigger recorder, the temperature goes up. That's me revving this, just for fun. I think I'll now stop it and restart it and see how it, how it goes with a bit of a warmer engine. So I left the pedal, it struggles. It actually, it actually didn't die. It's now idling without me touching anything. Go back to the gauges. I will detach throttle again. I will detach fuel again, back to the digital console, I just like this most on the background, just to see that what's going on. So as you can see, that's no throttle, it's now idling, apparently it's warm enough at 40 degrees Celsius, that's more or less, uh, what is it, uh, 40 degrees Celsius is about 100 something Fahrenheit, I want to say. So I've now killed it with the key, and now I'll, I'll try to restart at 56 degrees Celsius. It did start, it did start right away, if we didn't see anything on fuel gauge. Let me kill it again, I'm just curious if we'll be able, we'll be able to see anything here. No, it's not fast enough, it's not responding fast enough to see how fuel was done during cranking.
So once again, this was uh, 10 degrees advance. This was uh, 5 millisecond base cranking fuel. There are those curves which we're correcting a lot. This is really rich. This is 13 milliseconds. This is crazy rich, but that's intentional. I'm just playing with this for now. I'm barely touching the throttle, not touching the throttle. It hesitated for a second. It's not extremely happy. The RPMs is on the low side. I'll touch the throttle. It's a bit better. Yeah, let me just kill it. Uh, start it one more time. Yeah. Okay, let me start it without throttle actually. So I'm killing it. I'm not touching throttle now. Yeah, it does start. Apparently it's enough fuel to get it running. So it still starts. Yeah, next time I'll get it warmer. I'll get it to the proper temperature once I have the white band. But I think that's some good progress. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.